Okay, and hello, in today's video is the No Time to Explain Exotic. So, I'm going to cover some of the features of this weapon. Obviously, you're going to have some gameplay in the background, showing off in PvE and in PvP. I haven't got any rundowns of it in... <coughs> of stats and stuff like that compared to other pulse rifles but it's pretty much the, I'd say the same as No Wind's Mercy which you get from the pulse rifle from the Iron Banner there's obviously a few differences but stat line is pretty much the same as that obviously No Wind's Mercy you get more ammo but as you can see here this gun is very good against bosses, story missions, strikes, potentially nightfalls as well and some raid bosses as you can see you've got the Fateful Falls which is the perk you get on the gun itself this will in theory you don't have to reload the gun as you can see here some bullets are going straight back into my clip but the main idea is you'll never ever have to pick up ammo or primary ammo off the floor because this thing if you get precision shots it will put some back into the magazine itself not the clips not all the time as you can see here I've had, I'm having to reload on some things but most of the time it goes into the clip and then obviously the magazine which you start off with 522 bullets pretty good indeed stability is a little bit lackluster compared to some other pulse rifles but it's still you know hence why you get some shots back it kind of counterbalances that anyways the range is very good and it's also very good in pvp so i'll quickly cover this in pvp as well I say that there's obviously some better pulse rifles out there at the moment, obviously you know there's Mercy and stuff like that, but you don't obviously get the perks of Fatal Falls be beneficial in Crucible, so you have to bear that in mind, but it literally burns the shit out of people. The only thing I would say is bad or negative about this weapon is probably the glade you get when you fire it from the late, well basically the laser beam that fires out is kind of like what Bad Juju was before they changed the animation for it so ideally they may change that at some point but it's pretty good I'd say a very good contender for a primary exotic obviously you'd rather have a legendary out there if you're just going to have a hereafter or I don't know maybe example true fucking launcher of Thunderlord as your exotic so Obviously there's some legendaries out there that will take over that place, but this is still a very good contender. A lot, Not a lot of people probably got it yet anyway, so... But like I said earlier, this is very good for certain parts of the King's Raid, or King's Fall Raid. It's good against War Priest, if you obviously run out of sniper bullets, you can swap to this and keep firing at the War Priest's head. Golgroth, it's not that great, because obviously you want to be doing a high amount of damage. And then obviously after that, you've got... The sisters, very good for against that, and Oryx is not. So there's two parts it's very good at and very consistent, and then obviously after that it's not. So you get the general idea. It's overpowered as fuck in some departments and not in others. But if you can get a hold of this, or you haven't done so already, go check out my videos. I'll link it in the, uh, in the channel. Or I'll link it to this video, basically how you get the ghost from the Paradox Story Mission and then after you've done that you've got the quest line and I've got both videos and I'll put these as cards in this video. So hopefully you'll be able to get it yourself and just enjoy it. This is a really good gun, it's a lot of fun. It's basically a stranger's rifle but reskinned and put as an exotic but hey ho, if it works, it, it works. Okay, if you enjoyed this video please give the video a like. If you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and I hope you enjoyed this weapon review. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Behind.